a Santa card, you right? It was a ghost story. It was a ghost story. Why, you wanting to know when, about when we got married? Yeah. Well, before we, the way we had to get together. See, I had never seen James. And he was in service. So me and Peachy and 180 used to go sit in this old toilet out there that had three holes in it. And that's where we made our plans, who was going to marry who. So uh, Juanita was going to marry Shorty and Peachy was going to marry Ed. And then when James came home, I was going to marry James. So uh, that's the way it wound up being. So Peachy and Ed got married in May. And uh, then when James went to Charleston and got a job, and then he come back to marry me. And uh, that how did you night, get him to go along with your plans? <laughs> Don't worry about that. Let him tell us. Oh well, he, he was already gone, so he didn't, he didn't get out of it. Uh, so uh, we, I never could go nowhere unless I went with Ed, you know. And then after him and Ed and Peachy got married, well, that's the way I could leave the house, you know, was to go with them. So they were going to Chesterfield, so uh, I went with them to Chesterfield. And then James met me down there, and that's when we slipped off and went and got married. And when we was coming back home that night, well, he had said, uh, somebody told me that Daddy was looking, looking for y'all. And I said, for what? And he said, uh, somebody told him that y'all, they saw you down at Preacher Cannon's house. And that he was looking for James and was going to kill him if he found him. So uh, we was in the car, and what we had planned to do was uh, just wait until Monday to tell anybody that we was married and go right on to Charleston. So, but uh, he had said, no, he said, you can't do that, because it might be true that Daddy's out looking for you. And about that time, we were sitting there in the car while I was just sitting in the road there. But and what road? Where were you? Right. As you turned to go into the camel's house down there by the pack house. And we was just sitting there in the car because Peachy and Ed lived in the little house down behind me. And uh, we look up, and I had never known my daddy had come down that road before. But we could tell his car because he had different kind of hubcaps on the front of the, the car. And we looked at it and we saw him turning in. So everybody just jumped out of the car and they <laughs> leave the doors wide open. You know? Ed and James runs one way and me and Peachy run the other way. So Daddy went on home and Mama said, he says, where is Marge? So she said, well, she went with uh, Ian and Peachy to Chesterfield and she's going to spend the night with me. So that was all right, you know, he didn't say anything else. And so Ed got up early the next morning. But we, uh, Ed said, no, we couldn't stay there that night. We had to go somewhere else. So they carried us to Hartsville to stay. And uh, whenever they could come back, and Ed got up early the next morning and went over and told Mom and Daddy. And he said, oh, uh, said he won't stay with her. said, you know that boy don't want that little, little old girl. For a while, I said he'll get her big, and then he'll bring her back home. <laughs> uh, uh, so uh, I wouldn't go home then, to not let Daddy see me anyway till about three weeks after I'd been married. But he was glad to see me about it. And didn't they take right? Mama down there the next morning with them? To get well, yeah, to get us. They come back to Hartsville to pick us up and brought my scammer with. Them. 
And what did Granny say? But she had said nothing because James had done told her he was going to marry me. He didn't say when, but he told me he was going. By the way, what did he think of seeing the car with the doors all standing open in the middle of the road? Oh, well, no that's what he told Mama. He says, well, says, I saw that cowboy's car over there sitting in the middle of the road and said, every door on it was wide open. <laughs> 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 and it was one of them old Chevrolets that the door was open. From the front back. Oh, oh. And so they were, yeah, they were really standing over the door. The car must have looked scared. <laughs> <laughs> no, here, here's the big question. Did he have a gun with him? Huh? Did he have a gun with him? Was he looking for him? No. I ain't got no gun. <laughs> Just in case. He didn't even know about it.